What's up, Kryptonians? So I was actually supposed to do a video talking about the premiere for The Penguin, which came out last Thursday on Max. But my birthday was yesterday, and I didn't ha have time, enough time to do that video. So instead, I'm kind of skipping over that one, and I'm just going to do a review of a really weird-ass movie that I saw a few days ago. When I say weird, it just it doesn't even scratch the surface of what this movie actually is, because... What? So today I'm reviewing The Substance, which is a movie directed by Coralie... Her last name is escaping me. This film stars Demi Moore, uh, Dennis Quaid, and Margaret Qualley. And this is a film about an aerobics or aerodynamics instructor slash actress slash dancer played by Demi Moore who is approaching 50 and is suddenly fired from her agency. Now she's kind of going through a little bit of a midlife crisis. She is approached by this mysterious laboratory. The mysterious lab gives her a mysterious substance that will allow her to create a younger, better version of herself. And thus, you have a body horror kind of movie with really strange things happening. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I got out of this movie, I had to kind of sit there in the theater for like 10 to 15 minutes processing what the fuck I just watched. What was this movie? What was this thing? This monstrosity, this, this, this weird, beautiful, grotesque piece of art i want to commend the look of this movie you guys know that i love talking about how movies look like the visual style cinematography stuff that not everybody's gonna pay attention to what i love about the cinematography for this one is how emphasized and overly produced and stylish all of the shots are when it comes to the shot composition in this movie every single thing in every single frame is emphasized or zoomed in or drawn out to be the most grotesque or the most beautiful version of that shot that it can be. There's plenty of visual storytelling scattered throughout this movie, either used to propel the characters forward or to lay down some theme that the movie's trying to beat you over the head with. It's a movie that has kind of a visceral and immersive feel. It makes you feel like you're sitting there in the room watching up close and personal while all this shit is happening. And this combines with eerie sound design and a great score to create an uncomfortable, unsettling feeling, almost dreamlike, because everything is emphasized. Even someone eating food is like the most disgusting thing you've ever heard in your life. But when somebody is shaking ass in a music video in this movie, it's also like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. Everybody is really great here. Dennis Quaid is the perfect asshole for this movie. Everything about him, the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he speaks, to people is just he's just the ultimate douche and he's exactly the kind of douche he needed to be for this movie so shout out to him margaret qualley is drop dead gorgeous and she's supposed to be so if if you're mad at me for pointing that out the movie is pointing it out more than i'm going to because her being drop dead gorgeous is the point as she is playing like a younger more ethereal more beautiful version of demi moore's character and demi moore absolutely steals the show in this one which i shouldn't say she steals the show because she's kind of like the main lead of the movie she lends a lot of gravitas and a lot of poignancy to this role as she's struggling with an ex existential crisis here in this film because this movie tackles a lot of heavier subject matter that has to do with beauty standards and the double standards when it comes to women and beauty different things that women have to do to make themselves beautiful the insecurities that can run our lives that can control us and especially the way that it affects women and the way that they think about themselves also going through hollywood and the disgusting like scumbag tendencies that Hollywood tends to go after. Like, this is not just a movie that has a lot of disgusting images for the sake of disgusting images. It just has a lot of images that are there to tell a point and to hit you over the head with certain messages. Some of them you're gonna vibe with, some of them you won't, but overall, I actually dug it. More to the point, there's like this slow rising feeling of dread as the movie goes on and as you see where the story is going. You can tell that things are gonna get worse after they get better in this movie. I like the way that the story kept me on my heels and the way that it combined with the visuals to give me a few twists and stuff that I didn't necessarily see coming. I knew that the other shoe was going to drop on certain things in the movie. I didn't know how and I didn't know how it would look. In regards to issues with the movie, like I said, there are some images that are, are tough to process and that's not really a criticism of the movie. It's just... I didn't know what to think. I will say there's some weird things visually in this movie that I'm not really sure what the point of was. Like just a couple of shots that felt like they were just kind of randomly thrown into the movie. This movie does have some tonal inconsistency. There are some moments that are played straight that feel like they're serious and yet the way that it's portrayed on screen just kind of feels like it's a silly moment. It feels kind of funny. There's vice versa. There's moments that are silly that, I don't know, I felt like 
I shouldn't be laughing at or maybe they weren't that funny. So a little bit of tonal inconsistency here and I do think that the movie hammers you over the head with its message so much that it loses a little bit of that nuance, a little bit of subtlety as it approaches the finish line here. It also kind of kept going at a certain point, like I thought it was gonna end and then the movie just kind of kept going and it didn't leave as much to my imagination as I would have wanted. I feel like certain things just kind of broke from the reality and my suspension of disbelief couldn't handle certain things as they were happening. I know this is a video about the movie, but there are just, there are no words for what happened here and what was going on. I did really enjoy the movie. I think it could be one of my favorite movies of the year, but I also am not entirely sure how to feel about it. Substance was really dope, but also what the fuck did I watch? I'm gonna leave this movie in the Silver Age for Man of Steel. Believe it or not, I actually considered not giving this movie a rating at all, and that actually feels like something I should have done, but whatever, that's the rating I feel for it right now. Tell me what movie you're most interested in seeing this weekend. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show, and if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.